Well, hello there, everybody. It's PBA champion of 1997 here, Dre. And today, we're back in... Tear down. <laughs> oh, God, what the hell? Why, why is there a bowling alley? Who wants to go bowling in a video game? It's already kind of boring in real life. Just kidding. Bowling's really actually fun. Anyways, welcome back to some more modding shenanigans, everybody. I have a question. Who is polishing these floors? Because I want to hire them. I mean, hell, they're so polished, they can see right through the ceiling and see the clouds. That's actually impressive. But yeah, this is a bowling alley. I mean, you, 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 ta you take this, you, you, you do this. Oh, look at this. That, that one's going a bit... Okay, you know what? Am, am I weak or are these balls just weird? So these ones are normal pins. They fall over. What do these ones do? They fall apart when you hit them. Okay, that sounds more exciting, actually. It'd be nice if I could actually, you know, hit them. That would be great. This bowling alley's too big. What the hell? All right, I'm not cheating. I'm just making this work, damn it. I wonder if I put it on the ground and then roll. Would that be better? No, that is not better. What the hell? It's almost like voxels aren't meant to be rolled. Ah, uh, but there we go. I st it's still dead. Oh my god, this is the most frustrating bowling alley ever. Well, this first mod isn't going as planned, but hey, that's generally how this works. What do these ones do? Oh, they go boom. That's that's what I need. Maybe I'm just really bad at this. Come on! There's something so frustrating about being at a bowling alley and not being able to hit one freaking pin. There we go. Come on. Blo it's They're supposed to blow up. Yay. Well, when you see giant apartment buildings, you know damn well I'm going to take these suckers down. So, uh, this is the Acacia Apartments, and, uh, I was looking at this one. Check this out. Look at this freaking place. Is this not just essentially kindling? I mean, there's just wood everywhere. This is beautiful. Oh, an elevator? Don't mind if I do. Where, where's the elevator at? There we go. All right, let's just go to the top. Enter floor. Up. No. Wait, what happens? Oh, oh, God. Did I break it? I don't know how many floors there are. Oh, okay. Well, 10 worked. 10's good enough. This is so freaking cool. Well, that clearly wasn't high enough. I wish it show told me how many freaking floors there were. I'll take the stairs. I need a little workout anyways. Holy Jesus. There's got to be like 50 floors on this. Okay, I made it to the top. Well, not yet. Let's get to the actual. Oh, there's an attic. That's creepy. I didn't know this place would have an attic, but... Hey, oh my god, there's the elevator engine and everything. This is freaking detailed. Anyways, I came up here because you guys keep asking me for more fire time lapses. So I have an inferno blowtorch now. Oh my god, I'm out. Okay, we're just gonna do this. Oh, I'm gonna kill myself. I'm gonna kill myself. This is this is a good way to spread fire, though. God damn. Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die yet. Don't die yet, please. Just keep going, keep going, keep going. <laughs> Damn it. Is, that, is that enough fire, hopefully? All right, let's just hit the bottom a little bit, too. Make sure we get all of it. This Inferno Torch is insane. That should keep it busy. Hit the side a little bit. Oh, my God. This thing, it's got some reach, man. Okay, I don't think that fire is going to go out. And now we wait and see if this thing actually falls. God, this is going to be good. Well, this is freaking taking too long. Uh, you guys might be watching this for a minute, but this has been 45 minutes, damn it. I, I have to be honest. This looks so freaking cool, though. Uh, clearly, we didn't use enough firepower, though. And I'm just too damn impatient. So we're just going to add a little bit more to it. Make sure this thing truly goes down. This, this Inferno Blowtorch is actually insane. There we go. This is what we should have did at the start. It was really cool to watch how it just slowly trickles up, though. It did a lot of damage, but not enough to actually break the foundation, unfortunately. Now, another really cool thing about this map, this map's actually fantastic, is you can just delete buildings on the fly if you're lagging too much, and we are starting to hit lag, so we're going to do that. That's actually so smart. Wait. It deleted the fire, too. <laughs> God damn you! All right, well, that's okay. I, I can make more fire. Oh, that whole build... That whole uh, floor just fell. I can't really see what I'm doing anymore. I'm kind of like a reverse firefighter right now. This feels great. And I just realized a reverse firefighter is just a pyromaniac. Let's just call myself that and be honest here. Uh-oh. I think it just fell. That or I'm just lagging for some weird reason. Something is definitely going on. Oh, God. Back up. <laughs> it, it seems like it's leaning. That could my, be my really long field of view as well. Oh, yeah. It's falling. It's falling. <laughs> it 
Well, that was fun. I've always wanted to try and control explode a whole building. So I've put, well, 69. Nice, by the way. 70 explosives on here. Let's actually add a few more to the top floor just for the added bang, you know? Um, I, I don't know if this will work or not. Only one way to find out, though, and that's by... Uh, trying to get out of here. Hmm. Uh, you know what? Let's actually put some on the top, too, you know? I'm way too lazy to go climb down again. That was a lot of floors. We're using the smaller of the buildings, by the way, but as you can tell, quite big still. Oh, God, I've never had this much power. I hope it doesn't crash my game because this took a long time to set up. Well, here goes nothing. I heard it. <laughs> no! Come on, you can do it. I crashed the game. Well, I had to half the render size, so it looks super poopy. Get rid of half the bombs. And unfortunately with that, we didn't get that one side down. Uh, but I still got to say that was a pretty beautiful explosion. These are some really fun apartments if you just like sheer destruction. Well, I totally forgot I had this. I don't know why, but everybody's designing uh, fire-based weapons lately. This one, probably better than most. Welcome to the Thermite Cannon. I thought we'd come back to Frustrum, one of the official maps, just to, you know, ch check it out, see what's changed. This is cool. Oh my god, this is actually... <laughs> so it's like the other one that we have that we started with the inferno actually you know what honestly it's nothing like that because it's actually got range you can keep it going look i'm hitting that house from here so you can literally rain fire on your enemies if you want all right so yeah that was made of stone so it didn't really ignite very well but i do want to just kind of throw this in the distance here and see what kind of damage we can do with fire from a distance this is all brick, though. That one, I think, is wood. So we should get one that's ignited. Yeah, it actually does connect even from that far away. But this is all brick. This whole place was a bad choice of maps. I thought there was a bunch of wooden homes here. I know there's some uh, over here, I believe. That might be wooden. I'm pretty sure that is. I also know there's... Yeah, there's a propane tank right there. I wonder if we can hit that from here. Mind you, it's metal, so I doubt we'll be able to get through it. Uh, you can even see it, like, hit the ground and, like, roll away. Like, it... That's actually so cool. All right, let's see how this place is doing. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's going very well here. Mind you, it doesn't do a lot of damage. I say that as the roof's non-existent anymore, but, I mean, you guys have seen the amount of damage that can happen in this game. It's just cool to have more fire-based weapons. All we had before was flamethrowers. Now we actually have projectiles. All right, welcome to Chaos from Tab G. This is kind of like a video game mix-up because, well, I haven't showed it yet, but uh, let's just shoot real quick. Wait, how the freak? What? Oh, it went right away. Oh, it loses all its momentum. Okay, <laughs> it's hard to tell what this is right now. Maybe the shotgun wasn't the best choice. Let's try RPG. Oh, yeah, there we go. Does that set look familiar? We have super hot controls in teardown in a tab g map oh this is so trippy though so if you don't know what super hot is it was a really cool indie game where time moves when you move now it goes really slow when you're not moving unfortunately teardown has a limit on its slow motion so this is as slow as they can get it it's still faster than super hot but still really cool and when i start moving obviously time goes a hell of a lot quicker Let's try some bigger weapons here there we go <laughs> This is such a weird map. I haven't really played Tab G much, so I don't know anything about this. Oh my god, what is going on? What just happened? Something exploded over there, clearly. This is like too many mods going on at once. I'm getting overwhelmed. These these homes are going everywhere. This is a great map for destruction, though. Very, very fun. We need something bigger, damn it. All right, we'll use the staff. I didn't know this was an anime weapon, by the way. I think most of my comments in last episode were about this staff. Oh god. It is so powerful and moving and oh my god, this is so cool watching, you know Things crumble on top of me in slow motion is the most pleasing thing ever I should also mention it has the super hot weapons too with the cool bullet trails But they're basic weapons. Actually, I think you can mod them to be explosive. Let's try that I gotta go back to the main menu. So yeah, there's hacks where they can be super powerful explosive 
and less reload time. Sure, we'll save and exit. Well, would you look at that? We ended up in another game too. Welcome to GTA 5, AKA Franklin's house. Let's try this thing. Oh my God. That is a little aggressive. This is a beautiful house. I can say this is pretty accurate to Franklin's house in the game. Oh yes, there we go. This is so fun. Slow motion is the greatest thing ever. Okay, there we go. And everything is destroyed when I start moving. Of course, we got to try the shotgun as well. Actually, sorry, that's not a shotgun. That's an assault rifle. Ah, oh, I just killed myself with it. All right, there is a shotgun, though. They look very similar. Why did I do that? I keep forgetting they're explosive. My God, that went through the whole house. Look at that. It literally went through the whole house. Okay, let's pull back. Try that again. Because the shotgun is where it's at. Oh, I love that you can see the bullets as well. Dude, this is so fun. Oh, I'm going to kill myself again. The blast radius of this is sick. There we go. Life is good, man. This this is so good. Super hot, never gets old. Such a unique idea. And it's so fun when people mod it into different games because, you know, explosives in slow motion is just fantastic. Oh, that's not... A, oh. 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 Oh, God. Hello? <laughs> it's so broken. It's so much more horrifying, though. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You know what? I think we're going to have to turn off some mods. Oh, my God. What the frig? Uh, maybe I should have kept the mods on. Jesus. You don't even give me a chance. And he's still not really working right. I'm sorry. It's a mother. It's mother megaphone. Gee, what am I supposed to do? I can't kill this. Hey, I, I'm sorry to bother you. I'm, I must shoot you, though. <gasps> well, that was easy. That's right, you wreck scrub. That's right, you creepy bastard. I ain't scared of you anymore. One shotgun shell to the face and you're dead. What a wimp. Let's try again. That was fun. Oh, God. It, it chases me right inside. That's such a way to introduce yourself to this horrifying beast. I wish it was harder, though. I don't know why it's so easy. Maybe I got lucky, though. Oh, my God. This is scary. <laughs> why is it so easy? This monster should not be that easy. Like, it does not care about anything in the way. It's trying to get through. It actually has a hard time, though. There you go. Swipe it. You could do it, big boy. Oh, God. I'm moving around, and it's just trying so hard to get out of there. Where did it go? Oh, you're still in there. Hey, how's it going? Is it your home now? All right, let's see. Maybe it just doesn't like shotgun shots. What if we do that? Okay, that's mad that kills it as well. Well, that's the world's easiest yet most horrifying monster I've ever seen. Well, I never actually played this game as a kid, but I did want to show you guys uh, something a little bit different, but very, very cool. This is called Sphere Down. It was an old game where you're a ball and you got to get through like courses and it's one of the most unique mods i've seen as you can tell and it's utilizing the voxels to destroy these things but yeah basically i think we just got to get to the end i haven't seen anything quite like this before there we go we hit the goal i don't know how many levels there is see to continue is there multiple levels oh yes of course there is god this feels like a totally different game and that's what I love about a good mod. Oh, God, there's actually enemies now. Oh, gee, okay. Well, I can see where the difficulty comes from. I am I am a professional. Good thing there's checkpoints. What the hell are these? Again, I know nothing about Sphere Down. So if you're a fan of Sphere Down, let me know. Because this is, this is really interesting. Oh, look at this. Even like shortcuts. Dude, this is so cool, actually. I will say it's a little hard to maneuver, you know, a ball in voxel form every now and then. As you can see, I get stuck in like holes and whatnot. But I guess that's the challenge. Again, there's like little snake-like enemies here. Thank God there's checkpoints because I am not very good at this. I could see getting really good at this though. Wait, wait, wait. What happens when we hit these? Oh my God, there's actually like animations. That's like a slime that like affects you. I, I kind of want to get hit by all the enemies just to see what happens now. Yeah, it like, oh, it's like toxic goo. Game over. I was almost at the end. Oh, that's so freaking cool, though. I love that there's, like, a menu, an old-school arcade menu, too. All right, and to end off, I'm going to give one to the old Star Wars fans. Now, we've seen AT, AT walkers before, but obviously not like this before. This is... Oh, this is so cool. I don't know if I can drive this or not. Now, you can't actually control the walkers, unfortunately, but as you can see, we are actually inside one. How do I get out of here? 
Well, I guess it's it's tear down. I can get out wherever the hell I want. Ah! But what's cool about these is they are actually dynamic. So we should see once we start taking this thing down, it might actually have a hard time standing up and everything. Yeah, you can see it's wobbling now. Oh, it's coming down. Hit me! <laughs> that was perfect timing. Oh, that felt great. I want to see if I can maybe knock the head down a bit. Yeah, you can see it's moving. I want to see if I can maybe make it hang. There we go. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. Oh, this is so fun. There's certain things that are just so fun to destroy in this game. And this is definitely one of those things. Take off the whole front. Oh, he's coming down. Dude, this is fun. Just adding joints to a big structure like this changes it so much. It's so fun to use this now. Well, I had to try it with the um, super hot mod on because that only makes sense. Where the hell? What am I in right now? <laughs> Jesus. But yeah, like this is just... Oh, I'm so glad I downloaded the super hot mod. This is so freaking fantastic. Destruction is just always better in slow motion, ladies and gentlemen. It's just the rules. All right, guys, but I think we'll wrap up this episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed some more teardown shenanigans today. I had a blast destroying things as per usual. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching as well. As always, thanks for watching and liking, guys. And I'll see you in the next one.